Let's do this. Strapping up. The debate ends today. <laughs>
directions. You want to go to a store or a restaurant that you've never been to before, you punch it in and you get the directions. As it's giving you those directions, if you look on the screen, your blue dot, especially if you're moving at any kind of speed at all, is typically behind the eight ball, so to speak. So as you're approaching an intersection uh, pretty quickly, that blue dot is slow to catch up to you. So you could imagine if your dog is out running in your yard, they'll make it to the street before that tracking technology actually catches up and corrects the dog. So the reports have been from a lot of customers that have tried these uh, GPS systems and then later on called us out to install an in-ground system is the reports have been that on certain days such as cloudy days their dogs would be able to venture further out than they would like. This variance is not ideal especially if you have a yard uh, in a typical neighborhood but if you live on a massive property with many many acres 10, 12, 15, 100 acres, then the GPS tracking should work well for you. You're just gonna wanna put those stopping points well within your property line so that your dog gets corrected before they make it outside your property. And just like the wireless setup, that caller is receiving a constant signal from the satellite that's up in space. So the battery life on it is very short. Uh, the reports are that folks have to recharge that GPS collar every evening. It only lasts about six to eight hours on a single charge. So this could be a, a bit of an inconvenience for you. The GPS dog fences typically come with a subscription as well. So even to use the product, the initial cost is there where they range anywhere from 800 to two thousand dollars depending on what company you go with then you have to pay a subscription just to use the product but if you have a super large yard where installing an underground cable is just not practical then the gps fence is the way to go so let's circle back to underground wired fencing the old saying of they don't make it like they used to kind of applies in the invisible dog fencing world. The more that technology seems to advance, the more limitations there might be with that type of dog fencing. The old tried and true original type of invisible dog fencing is what we lean on most to help our customers keep their dogs safe in their yard. And the reason is, is you can pinpoint exactly the stopping points that you want your dog to have. So if you live in an average size, yard in a normal neighborhood, the underground wired system is gonna be the most ideal. The other great benefit to the wired system is not only can you keep your dog confined in your property exactly the way you want, but you can also create exclusion areas inside your property. So maybe you have a garden you don't want your dog to start digging in, or a flower bed, or maybe a pond. If you have those types of areas within your property that you want to exclude your dog from, well, you can do it with the underground wired system and pinpoint where those exclusions are. Another great benefit to the in-ground dog fencing system is that the collars are not continually receiving a signal draining down the battery. The collars typically only take about an hour, hour and a half to fully charge up, and they will last up to two to three months on a single charge. But one of the disadvantages to an in-ground dog fence is that you have to bury a cable. So it takes a little bit of time to install, a little bit of labor, but if you're willing to put in that sweat equity, then you're gonna save a lot of money in the long run and you're gonna have a more defined set of boundaries for your dog. Now, when it comes to the in-ground dog fences, there are a lot of different options out there as well as far as brands and different features and things of that nature. When you're shopping around for an in-ground invisible dog fence, you want to look for a product that is going to be long lasting, has a great warranty, and is backed with wonderful service. That's where the OPS 1000 is set aside from all the other options you have out there. You can go onto eBay and Amazon and search around. You're gonna see a lot of in-ground dog fences that are as cheap as 40 bucks. These are mass produced overseas and the reliability on them is very hit and miss. Plus, when it comes to training your dog and installing the system properly, going with a product that's backed by a real installation company is only gonna aid you through the process even more smoothly. If you wanna learn more about the OPS 1000, click the link in the description and you can order yours today with free shipping. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.